You're watching Satellite TV News, I'm Angus Scott in London. New Delhi's emergency rooms are filling up with babies and children clinging to life as they struggle to breathe the city's toxic air. Doctors blame the acrid air that blights New Delhi every year. The Spartan emergency room of the government-run Chachaneru Bal Chikit Sayala Hospital in the Indian capital is crowded with children struggling to breathe, many with asthma and pneumonia which spike as air pollution peaks each winter in the megacity of 30 million people. And there is a huge rush out here in the emergency room. Many times we don't even have place to, you know, stand and see. It's, it's huge. It's a maddening rush that we have in our emergencies during this time. On Thursday, the level of PM2.5 particles, the smallest and most harmful, which can enter the bloodstream, reached levels of more than 25 times the daily maximum recommended by the World Health Organization. Government efforts have so far failed to solve the country's air quality problem, which in 2019 alone led to over 1.67 million premature deaths. The foul air severely impacts children, with devastating effects on their health and development. Scientific evidence shows children who breathe polluted air are at higher risk of developing acute respiratory infections. A recent study found nearly one in three school children in Delhi had asthma and airflow obstruction. Children are more vulnerable to air pollution than adults because they breathe more quickly and their brains, lungs and other organs are not fully developed. So pollution actually affects the children more and that the reason being because they are short in height, their lungs are uh, actually uh, more prone to pollution because they are growing lungs and also their respiratory rate is higher than adults. They can't sit at one place, they will keep running and with that their respiratory rates will increase even more. So that is the reason they are more prone to the effects of pollution. The Delhi government has announced emergency school closures, stopped construction and banned diesel vehicles from entering the city in a bid to bring down pollution levels. But stubble burning by farmers in the neighbouring agrarian states, which contributes significantly to Delhi's pollution, continues unabated. Drawing a rebuke from the Supreme Court on Tuesday, in a damning statement the court said that Delhi's choked air is resulting in the complete murder of our young people. You've been watching Satellite TV News and don't forget to click on that subscribe button to make sure you get to see stories as they're broadcast. And of course if you have any comments or opinions on any of our news stories you can comment below or indeed drop us a direct message at message at satellogetv.com. We would love to hear from you. In the meantime, thanks for watching for Satellite TV News. I'm Angus Scott in London.